Transformers held down there with double sided tape. You know, the, the thin scotch double sided tape. The real thin stuff. And you can see what I do is I, I have the train go by and I just run the color dust with the airbrush as the train goes by and I dust the whole train. Oh, okay. See that? That's just dust with the airbrush going like this. So the train is moving. Yeah. Just keep your right. Yeah. And, it, and I can do the same thing with rust, but I have these templates because I only want the rust to go on the trucks. And that on the car body. So I put a template over it, and I can get the wheels and everything to return it. So I hit them with yeah. rust really light, then I hit them with dust. You know? Mm -hmm. It's one of my favorite spots because it's spray on an S curve. And it's, yes, it looks nice. I like that sound. Oh, that, I did it. The two stroke sounds great. Not for the side, not for the two stroke. I kept asking about the sound because I have. I paid 50 bucks for that years ago. I've never used it. It was brand new. It was just setting around. And I said, someday I'll put sound. And so the Slock Sound 5, I, I got, you know, $120 into that sound was you know, sugar cube or anything. But I mean, like, it's a great engine. It's a great engine, you know. And I've, I've got a, uh, I've got a Norfolk and Western SD35. It's got the old Norfolk and Western paint style on it. You know, not the new style, but the old, old style. Because that's what I've seen when I was a kid. Right. So that's the next locomotive that's going to get signed. And that's going to be assigned as a pusher, too. Yeah. Or something else. But um, I have a, I have a, I have a Ford and this uh, GP38s. And I consist them all together. And they look really nice on the front of the Ford. But I'll probably... 